Welcome to part three of Anatomy of an HTML Page. In the previous videos, we created the root directory or the root folder and we named it ChevySite, or ChevySite 1 or whatever you want to call yours. Then we created a home page and we're working on the home page. We created the overall structure with the doc type and the HTML element and the two main elements of an HTML page, the head and the body. We created the structure for those and then we checked out the head last video and now it's time to start speaking the language of body or as Ursula says and don't underestimate the importance of the body language <laughs> I'm serious about that so with HTML5 there are semantic elements before we used to create uh, containers to hold our content, just structural things so that we could use that to position content on a page if we had paragraphs and headings and we wanted them to be on a certain part of the page. Over here, you'd put them in a div, we'd call it. It was just a, an open caret, div, close caret, nest your content within it, and then you'd have the closing tag. And then it was all contained. But that really doesn't have any semantic meaning. It doesn't tell the computers what kind of content is in there and so we were always adding things like this right up here actually this is this is it right here so you'd have a div the ID is nav and we'd put our navigation content inside of that div element or you'd have a header class and say okay everything in a header class div would be a type of heading and again that was good for styling but it didn't tell computers what kind of content is in there so with HTML5 they said let's just create some actual elements that tell computers or coders what kind of information is in there and so here if you search for semantic elements HTML5 semantic elements in the W3 schools they'll explain to you what these are but let's put these into our our HTML document so I'm going to go inside the body tab to nest show that it's nested and then I'm going to say we have a header And you can have a header within a body or any of these other containers. You could also have a header within any of the other containers to say, hey, this is the important information. So I might just say h1, put a heading 1, heading level 1 inside of the header. This is important info about the page. It might even be you know your title for your entire page you could put in its own header element another element that you can have is I'm just hitting return a few times is a nav element and navigation bars are actually lists so what we could do is create a list of links for our navigation and in this case I might just start a list and say uh, make it an unordered list so UL and we'll just make a list of links and what we can do here is create a list item and for now we'll just say um, what what is this page going to be it's going uh, in the title we called it a moon page so we might talk about moon facts and then to create multiple items multiple lines in our list what I can do is highlight that list item I copy it which would be control C in Windows or command C in an Apple and then I just do command V to paste command V paste hit return command V to paste or control V if you're on Windows and I can just make a bunch of list items and then what I can do is say moon facts uh, we could say images geography whatever list of different pages you would have in your site um, technology like the moon rover and things like that we'd have to do usability to find out what the best thing is and 
let's just say contact information. So eventually that would be a list of links going within our site and we that would be our navigation. I'm going to hit Control S or Command S. See when I have an asterisk up here at the top of the page that means I've typed stuff but I haven't saved it yet. So I will hit Command S or Control S for Windows to save the page. The next container that I want to have is an article container. Article. And this would have you know, maybe an heading level 2 or actually, this is a, I can style this to be different. This is a, like the main heading of my article. And say why you need to know about the moon. And within my article, then I would have maybe have paragraphs of a lot of people think the moon is just a hunk of cheese. And so you have all the article. And the article is a self-contained piece of writing so that if you wanted to send it off through RSS to another site or something like that, it's all self-contained. Also, along with articles, you could have an aside. And an aside is like supplemental information. So what if we did another list in the aside, a list of links to relevant sites? So we could say, here's a heading one for our aside, and say related sites. And then inside of that, Aside still, maybe I'll just copy this unordered list up here. I'm going to highlight it, hit Command or Control C to copy it, and then I'll hit Command or Control V to paste it here. And maybe we'll say NASA and maybe. Uh, I don't know, is there a place called the National Observatory? We could find out. And you could have other other links as you, you find them. Let's just have these two items here. All right, and then along with the aside. So right now we have a header, a nav, an article, and an aside. And another frequently used container is the footer. And for the footer, that just is at the bottom of the page. And what we could do is maybe a quick paragraph with a copyright. And to do a copyright symbol, it's and ampersand, I should say, copy semicolon. That creates the little C with a circle, and then we go 2020. And because 2020 vision is good, got the 2020 vision. And put your name in there. So that is the overall structure the, of the anatomy of your body. And we can collapse these, I believe, by there are little plus and minus signs in gray in, right next to the numbers here. So if you wanted to collapse these, we can see now the body, we have a header container, a nav container, an article container, and a side container, footer. And that will contain all the information and we'll be able to use that to position things around the page for looks, but even more importantly, semantically tell machines what kind of content is within each of these sections.